Okay. Let's get into it, guys. Shit. Okay. Uh. Yep. Yeah, new game. Life Strange is a story based game that features player choices. The consequences of all your game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. Okay. Uh, I'm 28. Yeah, 28. I'll be 29 in six months, roughly. Wait, is there any sound? Wait, hold on. There's, there's no sound around me. What the fuck? I haven't got any sounds. There you go. Oh shit, that's too loud. Ah! Way too loud, guys. It's raining. It's water. From the clouds. I'm trapped in a storm? How did I get here? And where is here? Wait, there's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. Okay. Oh shit. It's poopy. Uh, my mouse is incredibly sensitive right now. Like, I am barely moving it, and the camera moves. Um, by the way, quick warning about the game. There's a scene where they shower, and it is not censored. So unless you want Twitch to do the funny... Oh, really? So is that what other um, streamers have done? I mean, do we know of any cases where, you know, uh, streamers have been banned or... Okay. Oh, there's a map. There's a map. I mean, no one Twitch that will ban you the moment. Oh, interesting. Okay. But then again, I mean, you've got a lot of the streamers with um, like a, you know, playing through, uh, what's it called, um, Cyberpunk, and you know how that one had a lot of the, uh, the customization for penises, or shit like that? Like, would that be something that... Because you know how in that game you can... Oh, it does it? Oh, okay, okay, cha cha cha. Oh, okay. Holy shit. That's a big ass fucking tornado. Holy moly, dude. What the fuck is that? Fucking. Oh. Whoa. That was so surreal. Famously called film Little Pieces of Time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, I know. Can you give me an example She's bullying of a somebody. who perfectly captured the human condition in black I didn't and fall asleep, and that anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller? Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces, you feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Is this a philosophy <laughs> class or? Ooh. Seriously though. Okay. <laughs> no worries, leggings. And capture you. Well, hopefully you you enjoy the uh, the game. And any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? What if Arbus chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? She had a brilliant eye, so she could have taken another approach. I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of her work. I prefer Robert Frank. Me too, Victoria. He captured the essence of post-war beat America. Look at this crap. 
How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. But and there was honesty about the economy, uh, the economic condition of the area of the era, but a beauty in a. Oh, we got seven more beauties. Let's go, dude. Woo. Uh, yeah, another way. They uh, are very sensitive. Like, I am barely moving the mouse, and yeah. So it's a photo of her and a lot of other photos on the wall. Okay, okay back. And there was honesty about the economic conditions of the era, but a beauty in the struggle. You, you don't have beauty without a beat, which explains why. Wait, wait what am I supposed to click on? Muse, and both were the great chroniclers of the 1950s. Well, we've all seen that iconic. What the fuck? I, I'm so confused. And if you haven't, shame, shame. Oh, okay, so you have to Capturing hover over the read. Oh, look. Oh, this is weird, man. Look, there you go. Now. I Contrast can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. Like Cocteau, but I like it old school. Cool. She's a bit of a retro famous. people. Early examples of that true I should take a picture to prove I'm still Read. Here. What's that? If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? October 1, my favorite month, the best weather of the year. Wait, what's o October like in the US? Um it's not spring is yeah isn't like winter like close to winter so like autumn summer wait wait summer fall yeah fall yeah yeah i love watching the leaves change color turning into tiny flames but it's still still to them hot thanks level warming but i can't just bust out of the uh bust out the big coats and sweaters or scary movies yet soon Kate, let me know, let me borrow the October Country by Ray Bradbury. I haven't read much by him, which is cause uh, warrant to almost revoke my geek creed before I help out my copy of Battle Royale. What? What? Before I held up my copy of Battle Royale, is that like Fortnite or something? He nails the autumn atmosphere of small towns. Last time I, I wore a Halloween costume I was with Chloe. I have a picture in one of the of my old albums. I should find a real Halloween party to crush so I can experience some social mingling. Is that or a vortex, vortex club stroke fest? Swim party. Or is that a backstroke fest? You're so pan, you're so panny max. What? What? At least I'm, t I'm trying to climb out of my cocoon. I shouldn't uh, expect my life to completely change after a few weeks of Blackwell Academy. As my parents love telling me, in a loop, you have all the time in the world. Uh, wow, this all these pages. Holy shit. Okay, wow. That's a lot of information so so next would be no way what no way what no no back back plus it's perfect for my portfolio no and go back get my daily selfie quota go back if anybody else looked at this so if i look at uh so that would be the next one so pay oh, oh page one here we go so i would accept it into blackwell academy if words could dance, this would be a rave, even though I've never been to one. But who cares, because I got into Blackwell Academy. I didn't think I would be so excited since it's not like I didn't used to live in the same town. But when I saw the text from the Blackwell Scholarship Office, I could literally feel my pulse speed up. I thought I was going to say, sorry, thanks for playing. It took me a few seconds before I read the whole thing. I guess I wanted to enjoy the last moments of blissful ignorance. And when I first saw the, the word, congratulations, I think I screamed. My mom cried and my dad laughed. They're so weird, but they're, but they're happy. And this means extra financial support because they'll, they don't have to pay anything to Blackwell. This means new clothes and if I can't work it, a new laptop. Oh, and I have, uh, I have to keep telling myself in caps that I'm going to Blackwell Academy. 
<clears throat> at set it so that you have to be following for like 10 minutes before you can come and somebody tried oh yeah i know what you mean yeah <clears throat> yeah i know that happened to me when I, I was doing uh when i was doing what do you call um uh the walking dead like the first season with lee and everything so uh is this place actually real uh the blackwell academy because I know, you know, Seattle is, is a real thing, but is that like a real thing? Russia or selfie. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Why well, am I still? Uh, you were back when they're crawling, <laughs> driving a walk. No worries, dude. Oh, it's fake. Gotcha. So this is it. I'm leaving Seattle to go back to Arcadia Bay. Okay. Usually people go to the high school closest to home. I suppose I'm too. It's just I haven't lived there for five years. Out of all the best photography, um, out of all the best photography programs in the world, I choose to go to the smallest back, the smallest and back in a town. I was excited about leaving. Maybe I wanted to come back all along, just to see if Chloe and I are all even friends. But I do wish Chloe could have been could have moved with us to Seattle. That city was made for her when we would play parrots in our rooms and in the woods. It seemed like Seattle was the fabled faraway island of treasure, an adventure that we were always seeking with coffee shops. Uh, no real school I would allow their name. Ah, I guess yeah. I guess that's a very good point. Yeah, you're right. That's a good point. But Seattle wasn't like a fable. Ayo Contra. Now Blackwell Academy seems more exotic to me than any other place in the world. To study photography under Mark Jefferson. In their hats and flowers. Plus there will be uh, there will be cool diverse students from everywhere. It won't be like my high school uh, now. I never really found a groove with my classmates or boys. I'm lucky I have a couple of girlfriends here. But it's time to ship out. So maybe Arcadia Bay will uh, actually turn out to be the island of treasure, an adventure I'd be looking for. Oh dear. Um, I'm speaking about schools with dark themes, did you know I grew up in the neighborhood next to... Oh, did ya? Oh, wow. Oh, shit. But yeah, that's when uh, where you guys had like that, that, that big shooting with the two guys. Uh, that happened in... Was that in the 2000s or late 90s? I forgot when that happened. Also, yeah, uh, Jake, uh, what's it called? Uh, Toy Around told me that this game has a uh, a scene which is like full nudity. Is that going to be an issue, you reckon? Did you have an issue with that on Twitch or nah? The first big shooting, uh, yeah, 1999, uh, yeah. So it's like basically at the end. I think so, yeah. He said that, um, hello, Yin, hello, Sensei. How are you? Uh, sorry. Oh, yeah, Chica, have you played this game before? Oh, nah, it's not really done your alley. I like this game. Thanks! <laughs> uh, have, have you played it before? Nah, have you played it? Master? Master Yin, have you played it? Nah. Sorry, uh, he said that, um, yeah, he said, uh, quick warning about the game. There's a scene where they shower and it is not censored. So unless you wanna you want Twitch to do the funny, try to censor it. So I'm not sure about that. Uh, I don't recall full nudity, but depending on your decisions, you'll you'll see scenes that others want. Oh, I haven't played the game, but I watched uh, uh, but I watch a few other people's playthroughs. Uh, yeah, well, this is the one game that Jake recommended to me. Um, so and because like this month, I'm doing a lot like a lot of uh, visual novels. And I guess like point and click adventures. Uh, this is like the one game that I wanted to really do as well. No, I haven't. Oh, okay. So, yeah, okay, that's good. Thank you. That's right. You don't mind spoilers. Uh, oh, there is a shower scene, but nothing below the shoulders. So um, I just yeah, I'm just wondering if is Twitch okay with seeing boobies? That should be right, right? Like that should be pretty okay, right? Like. Yeah, like if you if you see boobies, that should be fine. Oh no, boobs. Okay, cool. Gotcha. 
Because I, I was thinking of like The Walking Dead, and I don't think The Walking Dead had any nudity at all. So, not even like movies or booties. So. Just crazy here. I didn't realize how much crap I had to unpack until I had to pack all my crap. <laughs> Mom and Dad are getting a little too excited. I'm cleaning out my room. Though I caught Mom crying when she was packing my shirts. That made me want to cry like a little girl. I never leave Seattle. But instead of packing, I feel like burning all my clothes. Then just raiding a thrift, uh, a thrift store to build up a new Max wardrobe over my junior year. Now, not that I even have an old Max wardrobe. Nobody will know me except for Chloe, and who knows how different we are now. So I can't cut my hair, get a tat, and some piercings. Maybe date a cute foreign exchange shoot. Uh, wait. Maybe date a cute foreign exchange uh, artist from Paris or Rome. I can do anything unless I get busted. And uh, there will be so many super cool changes for my photography to get exposed. Thinking about what is what, thinking about what that is when I get uh, scared, but excited, and then I don't feel like crying at all. I get tingles down my arms, sensing the universe open up, opening up for me. I can't wait to leave. I just want things to be different at Blackwell. Okay. Oh shit! Can I click on it? There you are. So my first entry from my new dorm room, the night before my first day at Blackwell. Yeah, so have, do any of you like have to leave like your house to go to a high school or oh, no? There are some pretty dark themes though. Yeah, I'm aware of that. I just didn't, I just didn't know that the, this game had some nudity, which according to um, the other person it did, but ooh, I don't know. I just don't hear. Wii U. I haven't had any any time to write or even take pictures since I got here. My shit is in boxes all over the room, which is small, but mine. And I never want to leave. I can't wait to decorate. I plan a whole wall of photos I did need from my, do uh, my dorm mates. Though I suck at remembering names, so I won't bother right now. But I think I can already see who's going to be cool to me and who's not. It's a bitch trying to get settled down into a new school. And social sense after I finally found good friends in Seattle. But here I am, and this is the start of my new life. Sweet dreams. Oh shit. Okay. That was sex ass. I told myself not to whine so much, but damn, the day started like Christmas morning. I barely had any dreams because I was so pumped to start my life, my, my first official day of my new life. Like a dork, I couldn't figure out what to wear. So I chose what I was on the floor. I'm no good with names and faces right away, but I picked up some names like Kate Brooke, Taylor, Alisa, and how could I forget Victoria Chase? Rich, stylish, and titled. I could feel instant judgment when she looked at my raggedy ass clothes, as if I am as if I am at a Blackwell to strike fashion poses. Maybe I'm being extra crispy, sensitive, but I think Victoria wants a life, wants life here to be like her own reality show. So that wasn't fun along. Wait. So uh, also, if you put. Oh, did you? Okay. Um. Actually, how do I do that though? I I'm gonna have to do it. Yeah. Uh, give me a second. So it's a blind, blind folded. No. Uh, that says blind folded first. Yeah, that's it. That should hopefully add it. I couldn't find blind though. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I'm just trying it. If somebody, you know, oh damn, it, I keep doing that. So that wasn't fun, along with my general social uh, unease. I thought it would be easier being back. Um, being back. Call the ambulance. I don't want this day to end at all. To end all. Uh, to end all. Well, it's Max. It was incredible to walk across the green campus in the morning. Missed a lot of stone. Uh, steps and brick walls of Blackwell. Everything is so picture waiting to, to be taken. Speaking of, at least one great thing did happen today. Mr. Jefferson's photography classes side. There's more to tell, but journal, forgive me. I'm truly wiped out. I have an ass load of homework already. So much bullshit. At least give us, uh, give us noobs a day to acclimate. But to prove I am not a total loser, I met a new friend in my science class. His name is Warren Graham. 
and he's a serious geek, plus he's dark and witty. He, he comes across as kind of uh, know-it-all, but it turns out he does kind of know a lot. We talked about photographers, and he actually named a few I'd never heard of. We traded numbers, and he'll be a and he'll be a good study partner, or a good friend. I'll need at least one base on the cliche action here. I thought being 18 meant I didn't have to deal with this teenage drama anymore, I thought. At least I get to research famous photographers for some of my homework. Mr. Jefferson assigned us a ton of reading, but this is exactly what I, what I want to study. Hmm. So basically, this is somebody who has gone to a fo uh, school for uh, photographers, I think. Like mainly for like media, people who want to become somebody involved in media, I'm guessing. Um, Jefferson is super cool and super chill. He doesn't try to be too hip, just says what he thinks and expects us to as well. I think he's a genius. Oh my god, I want to marry him. Just joking. This one, this one class is worth all the social this this dysfunction. Homework is kicking my ass. I bet the teachers write harder just to stop you from feeling special. But Victoria, Chase, and her snob minions still from like, uh, and her snob minions still from like their honor guests at Blackwell. The bros here are indeed that different. Nathan is Prescott is Victoria's male clone with way more money and attitude, if that's possible. His family is the oldest in Arcadia Bay, and I heard stories about them. When I was a kid, the Prescotts give a shed love of bank to Blackwell. So Nathan acts like he's, he naturally owns the school. Yesterday, during class, he put his feet on the desk, started texting, and the teacher didn't say Jack. Yeah, that's one of the things that I feel like is weird in the US. Like, you can actually donate money directly as a parent, and, and that has a huge influence. Necro is pretty much, I'm just like slowly, like. Trying to get through this one, I like I'm already like my, my my voice is already like I'm tired. I don't want to do it anymore. I guess uh, I guess it's pended, but it, but him and Victoria are part of the this elite vortex club that puts on popular parties, and so they get their way. It's good to be the king and queen. I don't want to slam everybody. I do like Kate Marsh. She's down the hall and one of my classes. She's so pretty and sweet and friendly. It makes her. More beautiful than the uh, the bitches here, like Victoria. You think beauty is just your face and outfit? See, I'm already playing the drama game. No more. Yes, yeah, that's yeah, true. It is true. It isn't as bad as um. Yeah, it isn't as bad as um. Yeah, Steins Gate is crazy. The amount of reading is wow. My goodness. Finally, I had a chance to take some actual shots around campus today. A perfect blue sky uh, sky day. I always forget how great I feel after I take pictures when I've been slacking off. Speaking of pictures, Mr. Jefferson told us the National Everyday Heroes photo contest he wants us to enter. The winner gets a trip to San Francisco, a lot uh, and lots of publicity. He wants just one photograph from each student. This is exactly why I wanted to come to Blackwell, and of course, I'm scheduled shed list to enter. At least I have a couple of weeks before the deadline in October. So I have plenty of time to stress and procrastinate. I don't know whether I love it or hate it here. I'm trying to keep up with my science class of all things. Like I give a shit or even understand it. You think I know Warren too. I know Warren. Um, too bad I can't clone him to take my place in, my place in class. Miss Grant is much cooler than, than the class. She explains particles physics so even boneheads like me can kind of understand. I love how she relates society to science and vice versa. I can tell she's committed and passionate about life, unlike some of us in her class, but I'm trying to engage more, even if it means asking actual questions in class instead of hiding in the back. I'm just glad I'm not the only social misfits here. Uh, now, how much homework are you avoiding? Okay, so that's basically the whole thing. Fresh, fresh. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so, so if wants to question, look at it, I guess. I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. Hundreds of years to blame society. Okay. Speaking of questions, I bet you thought I'd talk all. Uh, about look. I do love my analog camera. Wait, if I take a selfie now, that's should I? But tell me the name of the actual. I have the the teachers gonna get upset. 
Oh. Uh, hello, uh, beautiful man. How are you? I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max. Minify. Mm. <laughs> of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Oh, baby. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains. Oh, baby. Five gifted subs. Oh, baby. What's up? <laughs> Shit. Wait, who got it? Uh, Artemis Zap 1080. To oh, total one. Actually, total right. He was here before. Dragoon and Tyrene. Oh, thank you for that. Also, this game has one of the coolest mechanics in game universe. Is that the, t the time travel? Like when you go back and forth or whatever? Like you can actually like... No. You can like revert an event. So if you fuck up... Oh. Oh, Sap's here. Hello, Sap. Let's go. Wee! Holy moly, dude. Oh, shit. <laughs> I am a lark. Okay, thank you for that. Appreciate that sub. Um, the lark. Oh fuck yeah! Holy shit! That's how many subs was today? That's nine subs today. Holy moly! Uh, but it's not only to correct by your mistakes. Wait, it's not only to correct your mistakes, but it does a lot more. Oh, okay, okay, shit. Okay. That the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Uh... I did know. I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces. Well, thank you so much for the uh, the gift of stuff. Uh, what's it called? Chica and uh, Dick. <laughs> Tiny. I love you. You can find out all about him. Okay, so we, we've read that already. Or even uh, oh no, that's the bell. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Okay. Oh, shit, sure, I can move. Yeah, I can move. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock. I, I know nothing about photography. So I have no clue what the fuck she's talking about. Ooh. The tablet. Look. Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she? Fifteen years old? Oh, who's this guy? Speak to his. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. I miss pretending not to see the teacher back in school. Yeah, they used to be me as well. I mean, in some classes, I actually really like to sort of discuss things, you know. But then... Oh, 200 bitties! Mwah! Thank you! Shit, what the fuck, dude? You have to. You already give to, like, five subs. Mwah! I hope I didn't embarrass you. What the fuck? Um... What did I pick? You seem quiet today. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. Victoria has already won. Victoria has already won. Okay. I hear that. 
Want to go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Kate. Computer. Oh, is that Photoshop? Look. Obviously Blackwell spent bank on the computer seat. Oh wait, so I can use it? He was already working on this. Cool. Okay, that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, so where the fuck do I go now? Um... I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Wow, that's expensive. How much is like 5,000 or something? Read. Oh, uh, with all the speed and power expected from a new greenlit, the GRLT64s. Yeah, that's gonna be a, like a made up brand, right? Okay, shit, that's a lot of money. Actually, um, I wanted I wanted to get a, a camera, um, like a proper one to take photos with, um, you know, so when we travel, we can take some nice photos. But like a lot of the cameras that I was looking at, they didn't really drop much in price during the uh, the Black Friday sales. So I was like, eh, I'm not going to buy any. So look, huh? This might make a cool shot. Are you just? <laughs> I got off. <laughs> um, I just like a drink. Uh, I think that's everything in this room that I want to like use. Uh, so I guess I can talk to no. Uh, to this guy. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson. Can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images. To frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. That's what separates the artist from the amateur. Okay. Do I want to talk to... No, I can't. I'll just look to her. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. What's back here? Oh, it's camera. Look at it. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. Okay. I bet he gets pristine digital images. But I still dig my little instant camera. Shit. It's a photo equipment. Like... This is definitely where cameras go to heaven. Oh man, they have those sweet ultrasonic lenses. And look at that vintage rangefinder. What? <laughs> I, yeah, um, what? I'm not sure what the fuck she's talking about. Like, it's just a lot of very technical words. Okay, uh, it's gonna leave it there. Be back in